Applying watermarks to media files on WordPress is crucial for a few key reasons. First, watermarks help protect your content from unauthorized use by clearly marking it with your brand. This not only deters theft but also ensures that your work gets the recognition and credit it deserves, even when it's shared online. Plus, watermarks enhance your brand's visibility and consistency, effectively turning every piece of media into a marketing tool that promotes your business across various platforms. They also add a layer of professionalism and credibility to your content, showing viewers that it's valuable and well-protected. So today, I'm going to show you how to easily apply a watermark to all your uploaded media files using the Media Folder plugin. Let's dive right in. First, you'll need to have your watermark logo or text saved as a PNG file in your WordPress media library. Just head over to your media library and either click the Upload button or drag the file directly into the library. You can store it anywhere, but I recommend saving it in an easy-to-find location since we'll need it shortly. Once that's done, go to your Media Folder Settings and look for the Rename and Watermark section. Enable the Watermark setting and select the logo you just uploaded. At this point, most of the work is done. You'll also find options to adjust the watermark's opacity, position, and size to suit your needs. For this demonstration, I'll leave the opacity at 100% and set the watermark in the top right corner. Finally, just click Save Changes to apply the watermark. So, by default, every media file you upload from now on will automatically have the watermark you set up. But if you have other uses where you need some files to be copyright free, without any watermark, you can use the Exclude Folder feature that Media Folder offers. As the name suggests, once you exclude a folder from the auto watermark feature, the media files in that folder won't get watermarked upon upload. And if you want to remove the watermark from files that have already been uploaded, simply exclude the folder, click the Regenerate button, wait for the process to finish, and hit Save. This way, the media files in those excluded folders won't be watermarked anymore. And if you ever want to reapply the watermark, you'll already know how to do it. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.